this is Tim Owens from the Northern Room here interviewing Johnny Earl, aka Johnny Cupcakes, who's about to speak at NKU. I got invited to lecture at Northeastern University a few years back, and I had never lectured at a school before, and they were very, uh, very set on having me. So I, I was never good in, uh, with speaking in front of people, and um, you know, a few emails back and forth. I said, "What the heck?" And, I went to Northeastern and I, I gave my lecture and um, I brought extra deodorant because I was very nervous and when the, the lecture was finished I, I got home I wasn't sure if I was going to do any more again because it was scary talking in front of all those people but sat down on my computer and um, checked my email and I, I was getting hundreds of emails from all these students that, that were at the lecture, even some teachers that were uh, inspired and motivated to, to start their own companies and to uh, think outside of the box and, and that made me more excited and less nervous and I was like you know what I should do some more of these uh, it makes me feel like I'm doing more than just making t-shirts I'm actually you know even if one person's mind is changed and, and they think about things differently uh, it makes me excited so um, I started doing high schools and inner city schools and colleges, universities. And, uh, Johnny Cupcakes is my, my main main thing, running my brand, and I've got three stores and internet business, but uh, whenever I can fit time in for these, I, I come out and do the lecture series. So what experiences have you gained from talking to colleges and high schools? Um, different experiences, well, speaking, um, you know, I'll, I'll stay after the lectures and I'll talk to each individual person as long as it takes. I've, I've hung out with students and, and talked and answered their questions until 3, 3.30 in the morning at, at some schools. But uh, just, just speaking and, and uh, you know, hearing all the different students' questions and getting a better understanding of, of how, uh, how a lot of students Think and for a program to think about. I'm really surprised when I received my package. It is by far one of the coolest sh shipping boxes I've ever received, and it's full of free goodies. For example, my package included a 1980s pop culture trading card, a piece of candy in a Johnny Cupcakes wrapper, and a Johnny Cupcakes button, all of which were sealed in a custom Johnny Cupcakes bag. Until now, I've never ordered anything online that came wrapped in a custom tissue paper sealed with a foil stamp. Inside a box marked freshly baked, that even made the UPS driver curiously ask, since when can you order cupcakes online? Started, I had, I had no help, I had no, um, no mentor, I, I didn't have, you know, some jam-packed lecture to go to that, that had all the stuff that would, uh, all the tools that I'd need to start my business, and, um, you know, it's, it's something that I wish I had, so, just makes me feel good doing it, and and, um, and it's yeah something that, that I didn't have. So I'll talk as long as I can talk before my voice dies out, and just given every bit of information I knew from different websites, uh, different tips, tricks for starting a business with little to no startup money, uh, how to take an idea and a passion and bring it to the next level. All right, so. Now that he told everything, uh, I guess that's all set. We can leave. I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you for having me. These guys did a great job setting up the event and, and getting the word out to all of you. Uh, I actually almost did. So uh, you dropped out of college. Uh, right? um, yeah, I took a break. Yeah, is a more <laughs> polite way to say it. I, I went to. I've always had a learning disability. Um, I was taken out of the public high schools to get put into a charter school because uh, I ha had a hard time sitting still and focusing and. Um, after, after that I graduated in high school in 2000 and my parents were really supportive. I, I tried out college for uh, less than a semester and my mom said, you know what, this, this is a lot of money. If you're going to invest your, your time into this and your money into this, make sure it's what you want. And I honestly wasn't sure that, that, uh, that I was ready to, to invest that much time and money into school. So. I also had all these ideas and 
for starting side businesses, and I was in a band at the time too. And, um, I was like, you know what, school's always going to be there. I'm going to take a break and, and see what happens. And while taking that break, I my little side business blew up, which was I used to make pins, little boxes for uh, for bands and organizations, and, and then that ended up failing. And, Johnny Cupcake's t-shirt brand took off and... I was filled with soda from BJ's, Walmart, Costco. I, I fill it up with soda and I drag it down the beach. And I had no uh, legal documentation, no permits to, to do this. But again, I think people felt bad for me, so they let me sell the sodas illegally. Friends and my family and, uh, well, like I said, opened up three shops and, and have a very big internet business. It's still growing, and it's all been done with no, uh, no crazy startup loan, no business plan. Just taking an idea, taking a lot of risks, and learning from mistakes as you go. Just kind of working it out. So, what do you think uh, Johnny Cupcakes is so successful as a brand? I I think my brand's so successful for a few reasons. People like the story behind the brand. They like that it was built in a very non-traditional way. Uh, they like that it's homegrown, that it's just me and my, my family and friends, and that it started from the trunk of my car. Uh, they also like that it's limited edition. I've turned down hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of orders from stores like Urban Outfitters, Nordstrom's, Macy's, um, Hot Topic. I could have made a ton of money real quick, but I decided to rip up those orders and say, you know what, people like what no one else has, and that's, that's the bottom line. If I want my brand to have longevity, then I shouldn't sell my soul to these stores for a quick buck, and I, I took that chance, and uh, people appreciate that, they like what no one else has, and the main thing is they appreciate that I keep it personal. Uh, you might not see Ralph Lauren or Marc Jacobs hanging out in their shops, but I'll go to my stores, I'll take my customers out and have random pizza parties and do, you know, really strange, crazy things that most company owners wouldn't do because they think it's a waste of time or a waste of money, but uh, I started this for the fun of it and um, some people might think it's a waste of money to buy dinner for you know, 300 customers, but in my opinion, I think it's, uh, I think it helps build the brand and, and create a very cult following of customers and, and friends. So how do you remain um, successful in the head of the competition without advertising? Um, word of mouth has just been very, very strong. Um, since my stores are set up like fake bakeries and we don't even sell food, we don't sell cupcakes, um, you know, all the shirts are displayed in refrigerators and ovens, bakery cases, and people get tricked into going to my stores. It says zero carbs, zero fat, zero sugar on the windows. And when they find out there's no food, they get very angry or they laugh. <laughs> but no matter what, they have an experience and a story to share with other people. So even if they hate my guts for, you know, being very hungry, pulling over, paying for parking, and, and finding out there's no food. Anytime they see a cupcake, a refrigerator, um, or an oven for the rest of their lives, they're going to share that story. And when people buy stuff on my website, it asks where you heard about Johnny Cupcakes from. People would give me completely random nicknames for no, no reason whatsoever. They call me Johnny Appleseed, Johnny Pancakes, Johnny Cupcakes, Johnny Coffee Cakes. No, no reason behind it, just because it sounded funny. And uh, I was getting t-shirts made for the hardcore band that I was in at the time. And I thought it would be funny to make a shirt that said Johnny Cupcakes. So I, I wore it to work and all these slightly miserable customers that used to keep to themselves looked up and they were like, what, what is this? What's Johnny Cupcakes? Is that a bakery? Is it an adult movie store? And I was like, no, it's just uh, a t-shirt I made. And, Enough people asked about these shirts that it became annoying and I had to make more and I started poking fun at pop culture and replacing popular icons with, uh, with cupcakes. Uh, you know, 
cupcake crossbones instead of the skull, plane dropping cupcakes instead of bombs, Statue of Liberty holding a cupcake instead of a torch. And I just sort of built my company around that. When I opened up my shops, I figured what better way to, to set up my shop than to set it up like a bakery.